Hi guys, it's me Camilo again. Today we're gonna go through the Santismo English assessment, the fourth part, the point about pictures, description, and discussion. Okay, uh, this is the only English class. Let's go through a few stuffs here. Let's begin. Uh, <laughs> please try this picture to me. This is a very sad guy. Uh, he's about to start um, doing the Sansomo English assessment test. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, uh, the picture is a lead. Okay, just reference. Picture, uh, first, you must be able to describe something on the radio. In the future, maybe you will be able to send a picture to the controller, but not now. It doesn't exist. Uh, after the, the picture description, there will, uh, there will follow related question with the picture shown. All right. The last action of part four uh, the exam is a statement, which consists of a uh, affirmation of a subject and we'll ask and we'll ask you if you agree or disagree and why you say so well let's warm up a little bit all right well what do i see here well i see a very nice sight wish i were there right now with the sunny i see kayaks I see nice ladies on the water, chilling out, a very translucent water, nice, seems even like very clean to me, looks like a paradise, um, white sand, looks have like a, a bar in it, probably like a, we can go and have like a drink or so, maybe like chill out with the drink under a tree or something like that, maybe coconut, if you're not drinking, if you want like to be healthy, I agree with that. Well, why would I like to be there? Well, so, sounds a lot relaxing, huh? Very uh, chilling out. Well, there's like even a um, uh, few boats. Um, well, I could like spend a whole day with my family there, friends. Uh, the time would I wouldn't feel the time pass by. Well, let's focus on what we gotta do here. Uh, did you did you like the play? Would you like going there? See, uh, statement. This is Vanuatu. Is the type of play that is good for those who do not like outdoors? <laughs> would be like a, a funny question. Like if Vanuatu is the type of play that. That is good for those who do not like outdoors. No, it's a place for people who does like outdoors, like staying on the sun, liking um, like appreciate um, a nice breeze. So I uh, hope the water is like kind of a warm, like woman like warm water. I like cold water. But anyway, let's focus on what you gotta focus. Let's describe an aviation picture. All right. Well. It seems like we're in the airport because we see like a ladder. Uh, I see like a like a tow cart. It seems like I'm not sure. Uh, on the foreground of the picture, it seems like have like a yeah like a ladder and like a tow tow. Um, it's not a tow trucks. A tow um, tow cart because. Definitely doesn't have engine seat and nothing like that. Uh, on the background, like a gigantic, obviously 747. I know that's a 747. If you know the model, you can say the model, all right? Uh, I know that it's a four engine aircraft. You can see because I can, I, I'm, I can see it from the left side probably of the aircraft. So I can see two engines on the wing. So yeah, it's probably the four engines. I believe that on, their, on the other side, there's two other engines because an aircraft wouldn't fly with two engines on the left side only this would be very stupid um, this is a 747 why how can I know that it's a 747 by the shape of the aircraft of the fuselage we have a double decker here we have a double deck aircraft and uh, probably you had the landing gear failure the nose gear it collapsed 
hit the ground yeah probably damage the whole front the 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 bottom part of the aircraft maybe even um damage uh, the inner engine the outer engine seems to be fine i don't doesn't look like it's touching the ground but the inner engine yeah maybe the both inner engines are touching the ground but i can only see the engine on the left side the inner engine on the left side all right so yeah i probably have to go through a major overhauling yeah it was a bad day and i would even say more this this um this eva air probably is like um, asian because hieroglyphs uh written on the aircraft side all right and the bottom part of the aircraft is green with a red stripe on the middle and the top is white uh the majority of the aircrafts are white so but it's kind of a different this green and i've seen a lot of green aircraft but, well that's pretty much it see you just gotta describe it's not very hard uh now after assisting the the, the picture let's go towards those follow-up questions please tell me what you what can you see in the picture i just said what what was my impression what do you think is happening in it well i think uh, i believe uh, on my opinion um this aircraft is gonna go through a major overhaul major maintenance on the inner engines the the bottom part will have to be fixed the, the cargo region probably uh yeah and the uh, probably will have to get a new nose and ending gear uh, what's happening yeah failure what do you think was happening before the picture was taken well probably this aircraft was taxiing landing maybe to even taking off but like um, I would suggest it, was, it happened when it landed because when it lands when, like when it bounces on the ground when it hits the ground yeah definitely it, it forces the structure it, it, it could collapse during taxi or just st stay still by itself could but I don't believe so probably during the landing there was the most stressful moment for the landing gear. Now I imagine that this picture was just taken. What do you think will happen next? Well, I believe what ha will happen next is um, this aircraft will have to be towed. They will have to jack it, lift the aircraft, and for because if they drag it, they're gonna destroy it even more. They're gonna increase the the damages and uh, the costs of the fixing that aircraft maybe even became in, uh, uh, un unfixable uh, this aircraft um, definitely will have to go to a mechanic or hangar to get fixed yeah it will stay many many days fixing I believe they're gonna go like uh, in the near future they will like um, this aircraft will be flying again I don't believe so that's it. Um, he listened to this statement. If an aircraft has a landing gear failure, what should the pilot do? Well, uh, if I have a pilot has a landing gear failure, use the whatever the guy said. Use again. It's fine. If I had landing gear failure, it depends. Do I know it before I land? I, I would definitely ask. Emergency service on the ground. I would pre prepare myself better. My cockpit, my my colleagues. Maybe I would uh, dump fuel, things like that. If I don't know, on the land, I discover that. Well, if I still have the energy for that, maybe go around, or yes, report uh, to the um, to the controller or whoever is on. Uh, like listen to me and say that. Uh, that I'm gonna, that, I, that I had a problem that I, I crashed the ground and yeah it's an emergency like an emergency or even became an emergency f like uh, the fire becomes a fire due to, to due to the friction on the ground and leads uh, it gets the um, to my tanks and jeopardize the whole operation so yeah 
it depends what is what would be happening aviation you gotta judge what is going on right if i discover that during flight it would be more safe because i definitely would ask, have um emergency service on the ground and feel prepare my, my people inside of their crowd it would be more prepared for the situation okay let's see another picture tell me why Tell me what you can see in this picture and what would you think is happening in it? Um, this picture is very nice because we know that um, this is not real. It's not really happening. Like, I mean, it's not fake. It's not a CGI thing. But like, this is not a real aircraft. Like someone like just had a crash. This is a simulation. This is a practice for firefighters to be able to um, manage a situation of fire or hazard and aviation on a real life basis. So that's it. You can see like uh, some they're trying to simulate a fire on the left wing or on the left engine. I have like fire five firefighters. Um, go against it. I, I can even see like the aircraft is like a three colors or like some looks like three big stripes like in the bottom black in the middle yellow on the top white yes you can even see this probably it's like a um, older craft and they turn into like a fighters simulator um thing yeah it's nice i agree with that it's very good for when it, I hope it doesn't have it just simulated, but you gotta be prepared, right? Just like pilots, pilots simulate for the real flight, so they're simulating for the real for no, for a real fire. Okay, let's go. Uh, what do you think happened before the picture was taken? Well, they were preparing themselves for starting the simulator. They were the firefighters were dressing up. Uh, probably were lifting the fire on the aircraft uh, because it wasn't a natural fire yeah they were getting prepared for the drill of um, um, a, sim, a sim of a um, fire they wouldn't be fighting on the real life uh, basis can you create a short story based on this picture use your imagination well, all um, firefighters got to be able to handle emergencies. So this crew here probably, they work on airports. And we do got to have uh, fire crews on the airport, major airports, all of them have. They have um, uh, tankers, uh, trucks with filled with water ready 24 hours. So. Probably, I imagine, a structure, an older structure with more experience on this kind of situation. Gather a lot of other um, uh, firefighters to say what we would expect from them, to be aware of a few things, like uh, uh, don't burn yourself, <laughs> don't get hurt. Um, yes, and like um, jet fuel is very hazardous. Uh, like um, when can you get uh, the passengers from the from the um, from the cockpit of the aircraft? And like uh, yeah, passing them instructions, uh, told them how it would happen to drill if things go south. Like uh, what? Like uh, if they cannot handle it, they probably have like a uh, standby crew, like a real standby crew to to switch it off. Maybe they have this, like uh, the fire just gas. It's gonna just switch the gas, something like that. It's a, it's a, a control environment. Now imagine that this picture was just taken. What do you think will happen next? Well, after putting down, putting out the fire, they would uh, come, um, go through a um, reunion again, like all the guys that fight the fire. Say what they did right, did it wrong, what they got to improve, if they got to do another um, simulation like that. Uh, yeah, they would probably get ready to 
uh, just see what they do wrong, where they get improved, and things like that. Uh, how dangerous can a fire, uh, an engine fire, be during the flight? Oh boy, this now well, now we're cooking. Uh, well, a fire in flight, well, any fire is a, is very dangerous. In aviation, even more because you're by yourself in the air with aircraft fuel, full of, full of fuel. You still gotta fly to the nearest airport. You may not have that time. So. An engine fire, well, you try to, sh if you're in a motor engine aircraft, try, try to shut down, shut down the aircraft, because it's very dangerous. It can lead to a, a fire that's uncontrollable, and yeah, I don't even want to see, I don't want to say the word that, um, but yeah, you're going to lose your life. So yeah, it's very dangerous. I wouldn't like to leave that situation. How are traffic operations at airports affected when there is a damaged aircraft obstructing the runway? Ooh, what a question. The aircraft obstructing the runway. Well, if there is a damaged aircraft obstructing the runway, well, it depends. The aircraft has just one runway, the aircraft will be closed. No one will be able to operate over there. Okay, you get, everybody got to divert, go somewhere else. The aircrafts are on the ground, would not be able to take off. There's another runway, yeah, they can take off from the other runway, but probably going to be very difficult because there will be people on the on the runway during the where they're extinguishing the fire. But like after extinguishing the fire, if you have the other other runway, yeah, we definitely can continue the operation. But like it will be during the flight, the, during the fire. I'm sorry, during the fire. It will be very hard to, because going to be a lot of smoke. And smoke like the wind can go anywhere. It can change any moment. So, for example, an aircraft is coming for, for, its, uh, for a landing. And the wind is ship direction. It goes towards it and like black it out. The guy cannot see anything anymore. He cannot see the runway. So it's not very safe. So you've got to put down the fire. If it has another runway, yes, definitely use this other runway after. Uh, extinguishing the fire, okay? It has um, over two runways, well, even better. I have like two, three runways, I mean. Statement. Engine fire can be a major hazard on an aircraft on any phase and lead to smoke inside the cockpit and uncontrolled flight. All right. How much do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Well, I agree a lot. I will fully complete it. As I just said, when you asked me about the engine fire, uh, imagine the guy would, the guy wouldn't ask me this twice, but I'm trying to do my best here. Um, well, um, yes, definitely smoking inside of the cockpit would make people get blind. Um, the flight controls, yucky. Definitely, you probably would lose the, the wires, uh, the control of the aircraft, you would lose the commands, you wouldn't be able to, to steer the aircraft, like, you wouldn't be able to uh, control this aircraft bank or put the heading you want to. Yes, like, fire, first of all, if you have a fire on your engine, that engine probably gonna s switch off very quick. If you have an auto one, you're gonna have a, pen, a penalty because you're gonna be dragging a dead engine. In that fire in that engine, so you're gonna get stressed. You may have smoke in the cockpit. You may not be gonna be able to breathe or see properly. Yeah, it's, that's, uh, that's a very bad scenario. Uh, I, I see like a, a very bad news coming out of that, so yeah, definitely. I wouldn't like to leave that. Me or any anyone I know. All right, we have another picture here, or last picture, all right? Let's see here, um, this aircraft definitely is on the airport because you can see in the background other aircrafts parked. Um, even the lights told, tell me that. Uh, this aircraft looks like a major private jet or like a kind of a mid-sized airliner. 
I'm not sure which aircraft is this, but I can see it's from Russia. Because there is a there is a, um, a flag on the on the tail, and it's a tree reactor. It's not very popular nowadays. You don't see a lot of those in, in, every day. Um, this the tree reactor. I imagine we're going to see on the other side, but we imagine there's an engine on the other side. Uh, seems to me there was a fire coming from the brake system. So I started on the brake system because you can see the left landing gear is on is engulfed on flames, and yeah, so like it probably happened just after a landing because I can see the the um, or maybe after rejected takeoff because you can see the um, there is uh, f the flaps are deployed and lowered. Um, yes, yeah, pretty much it. I, I wouldn't even guess there was someone in the cockpit, but it's kind of hard to say that. Um, yeah, that's it. I would definitely exit this aircraft very rapidly. ASAP. Because it's starting a fire just underneath the wing. And the wings are wet. This wet is not water, it's fuel. So jet fuel. It burns, so get out of this crap real soon, man. <laughs> and I don't see a firefighter around and see no one. Shit, I would, I would definitely get out of this aircraft real quick. I hope they did. Notice the advice is equal to the first part stars have a beginning, middle, and end. Answer normally. But do not deviate from a regular rate of speech. Don't speak too, too fast or don't speak too slow. Use technical terms, all right? Think before you answer. Make a remarkable answer. I will reduce follow I will reduce follow-up questions if you do that. It will reduce follow-up question definitely. Uh, description and discussion is all about the conversation. Use arguments, debate a bit with your examiner, but the examiner are there to listen to you. All right. They're there just to hear what you gotta say, all right? They're not there to curious about your opinion, just, just asking your opinion to make you speak English, all right? I could even ask this third one, this final picture, say, uh, I'm gonna make a statement, what do you think about the the fire on the, when you're breaking? It's, everything is related to the picture. As I said in the very beginning, the picture is a lead. It's a lead for questions, a lead for conversation. Uh, the guy gonna probably, I would just make it very, real quick. This picture I just showed you guys, uh, what do you think happened here? Like, uh, just after the picture was taken, well, the aircraft problem hit the brakes too hard. Uh, so yeah, he started a fire on the brakes. It's overheated the brakes. Probably gonna burn the, the, the tires. If like someone doesn't put that fire down very quick, uh, the aircraft will burn. It will start a major fire because because of the left wing. Um, there is a the fuel tanks just above it, yeah, start a fire on the, on the tanks and it would start like, probably would just burn the whole aircraft, all right? Uh, what would you think is gonna happen next? Next, they're gonna put the fire out. Um, um, probably there's a firefighter rushing towards the aircraft and the aircraft definitely not gonna be able to fly like in a short in a short period of time. Yeah, they're gonna to have to check out what happened. Probably I believe there was a um, very energized breaking situation, like a rejected takeoff or a um, aircraft that came with too much speed on a short runway and didn't have the spoilers to assist during the, the break or yeah, something like that. You can make a statement saying that uh, uh, fire on the brakes is at a higher than those and makes you uh, uh, can make the aircraft like a, 
um, uncontrollable. Yes, you can even lose the the, the breaking capability. I agree completely. Uh, the fire, all all fires are very important you know, because they uh, they can lead to destruction of the airframes and on and on. You just gotta be talking a normal spe rate of speech. Just chat. Don't think nervously. Okay, be nice. And you're gonna stay cool. You're gonna stay safe, right? Well, as I usually say when I begin, when I end my class, well, please hit the button, the button of like. Please comment about if you like this full English class. If you can understand. If you're not understanding, if you want me to make half Portuguese, half English, and so and on. All right. It's a pleasure making this class. I love making this Santos Bom English class uh, lessons. And that's it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.